He's got a Magnum 1000 watt inverter. Um, so we're going to be replacing that with the 3000. Okay, just to show people how to disconnect the Magnum, you have to take, this is your case ground down here, so you have to disconnect that. I unplugged, you have two, two plug uh, ports here. Uh, you unplug this one, and then this is the um, remote. You unplug that one. Then you take these little plastic covers. You just pry them off by these ears. Whoops. Anyway, you just uh, pry off these little covers off the screws. Uh, and then... Um, then you just use a 13 millimeter and loosen these nuts so you can pull these off. And then underneath, it's hard to see, but way underneath there, the yellow and white wires, that's, those are the 120 volt wires. Um, and I'm going to need to, you know, pull the, pull this inverter off the wall in order to get to those. And the inverter is actually mounted with four screws, those two uh, there on the top, and then there's two more on those uh, ear ears that are sticking out of the unit, two more down there. So you have to remove those, and then the whole thing will fall out. So um, that's how you get rid of the uh, magnum. Okay, so it is possible to get the old 1000 out without removing the wall. But we definitely have to remove the wall to go back with a 3000. And then these are the, uh, this is the compartment. For the wire, for the this is the 120, uh, the break, the wires that run from the breaker box. I'll put that back on. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you can see them all. Taped in here. So we have to. Um, Now this, this is only one circuit. So on the 1000 watt inverter, laser puts, um, I think they put the entertainment uh, outlet so you can run the TV off the inverter. Uh, I think it's one outlet at the galley and one outlet in the bedroom. Um, so it's, you know, it's very few outlets, you know, like those three outlets on this circuit. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull all this apart and pull these wires out and we will use these. Um, oh, they've actually got, oh yeah, and this, so what, what is done here is Leisure uses a 12 gauge wire as the input to the inverter and then they use two 15 gauge wires, 15 amp which are uh, 10 gauge, no, not 10 gauge, these are 14 gauge. Yellow is 12 gauge, white is 14 gauge. So you use these um, 14 gauge wires for your, your, uh, your outlets. So what we're gonna do is remove this and we're going to put the yellow, the three yellow wires, uh, white, black, and bare. We're gonna put like wires together um, and we're going to wire these together in parallel to complete the circuit and then we're going to um, move that breaker because these are connected to a breaker uh, this yellow is connected to the breaker so when you hook the white which is the output of this when you hook these together in parallel that completes the circuit to the breaker and then we're going to uh, attach that put that breaker on the new inverter 
uh, bus bar. So the circuit, the outlets supplied by this inverter for this circuit will be completed and powered by the new inverter. Okay, so I will come back and um, uh, show you all these wires disconnected when I get that done. Three. All right, so I got all the wires disconnected and now I'd better pull them out one at a time if I can. So, uh, where's that little cap? We'll put it back on. Okay, so, um, uh, and for information, if people have a 1,000 watt inverter, here's your little reset circuit breakers. So whenever you trip off power, these are the breakers that you need to come and toggle for the reset, in addition to the possibility of breakers in your breaker box having tripped. Okay, so this is done. All right, so like I said, uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to be putting a junction box on the ceiling, and I'm going to be putting all these into a box, and then I'm going to be using uh, wire ties or um, uh, wire nuts, um, or I may uh, I might just use Wago connectors, uh, but either way, wire nuts or Wago connectors. Put put the light colors together, so all the blacks together, all the whites together, and all the bare wires together, and that completes this circuit um, back to the 15 amp breaker in the breaker box. So um, I'll show you, you know, more on that when I actually do it. But in the meantime, I'm just going to tuck these back here until I'm ready to deal with them. All right, so that's it done. Okay, now I'm going to be putting this junction box so I can run these wires into here. You run them through the end. Um, and then I will connect them all together and put a little cover on it. So I'm just going to screw that into the ceiling. Probably move it up more. Okay, so I'll do that and uh, come back. Okay, so I run the wires uh, into my junction box and now I'm connecting like colors and whenever you use these wire nuts, you wanna make sure that you twist the wires around and around to make a good connection and then I'm gonna be wrapping them with electrical tape. So now I still have to put the black ones together and the uh, copper ones together and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like okay so I've got these all done now I just need to get them up inside put everything in the box and then put my nice little cover on Okay, so now I'm going to put my, this cover on, and we'll be done with um, completing the circuit for the circuits that were connected to the old inverter, and we'll come back. Okay, so here's the junction box now. Um, uh, for 
that uh, and now I've completed all the circuits for the um, uh, for the old inverter and um, we're done with that.